Hello everyone. The clip you're about to hear is from one of our exclusive Patreon episodes, and like all of those episodes, it may contain spoilers, so consider yourself warned. If you like what you hear, head over to patreon.com slash horrorqueers to listen to tons of bonus content. And now, without further ado, here is your exclusive Patreon clip. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so that evening, they're, you know, still kind of unpacking. The apartment is a mess. They're eating Chinese takeout. He's drinking his chlorophyll water, which will also become a plot point. Very much so. <laughs> but at the very end of the film. <laughs> Correct, yeah. For the for most of the film, you just think, oh, it's an, it's an odd character detail. Yeah. He just likes drinking this green juice, even though it clearly looks and tastes awful. Mm. But uh, here we have it. So I think that this is a really good way to introduce these characters. Like they're on the precipice of starting a life together. Mm -hmm. And then we spend this scene getting to know a little bit about the nature of their relationship. Like they're a fun couple. They get along well. They're obviously incredibly sexy. And we're learning about things like Thomas works in music, sort of. And Pippa works in medicine sort of like yeah. obviously neither one of their careers is exactly where they thought it was going to be and that codes it as oh we're at an early stage in our lives where we think we're mature but also we're still kind of young also just the, again more on the nose this she works at a fucking eye doctor yep she sure does <laughs> <laughs> she does optometry tests for a living <laughs> oh, boy so they decide that they're not going to have kids because they want to make wonderful terrible decisions for the next four years that's the sort of timeline that they've established and one of those terrible decisions is going to come into play immediately because they are distracted by flashes of a camera in the loft across the street where they see a couple having sex and they decide we should just watch because they don't have curtains and we don't have curtains so what i love so before they actually start fucking um this guy as we as they will name him brent starts yes. going down on margo and <laughs> thomas the justice smith character is like is he about to do what i think he's about to do and i was like is mm -hmm. it a is it surprising but also this is the first of two times in this movie where brent will go down on a woman for about 10 seconds yes. before just immediately plowing her Yes. Yeah, it's like we're doing the most bare bones effort to say women also enjoy Conolingus, but mostly they enjoy a good proper missionary pounding. I so he he basically like flicks his tongue on their clit for about ten seconds and he's like, mm -hmm. All right, I'm done. Yes. <laughs> he has done the most perfunctory sex act and now he can get on with his pleasure. But doesn't that seem in keeping with Brent from what we know of his character? Yes, absolutely. He, this, <laughs> the Brent character is one of the biggest assholes ever. Like, even, even though a lot of this we will learn is like a facade, and he mm -hmm. really does care about Margot slash Julia. Right. Uh, blech, I hate this character. <laughs> <laughs> Atlas Avenue, a long stretch of road that encompasses everything the city of Kennet Heights has to offer. Neon lights, traffic, crime, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, and the craziest of characters. My office was above it all. My name is James Locke, and I'm a P.I. Hello, Mr. J. How the hell you doing today? Good, Edith. Nearly every year I have a new case. New people to meet, new clues to discover, and new problems to solve. But I do it the old-fashioned way. No technology. Nothing post-1950. Hell, I don't even listen to podcasts, but you should. Atlas Avenue Beat is a spoof of the film noir genre with goofy characters, tons of wordplay, and non-stop raunchy humor. There's also three whole seasons out right now with more on the way. Just search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts or visit us online at bloody.fm. <laughs> 